So, yeah, we're going to go and we're going to sink his navy. Let's uh, actually bring him over to this province, the sea tile, so we can land on this, make him disembark onto, or get out of dock, straight into our waiting navy, and just solid amounts of slaughter is just going to be beautiful, really. And goodbye, Phrygian navy. This is revenge. This is just revenge, pure and simple. Uh, he lost none ships. That's that's always good. Let's go and murder him in this area. Oh, we're gonna sink his fleet in Salamis. Oh yes, that's even better. Ah, oh, and he lost no ships again. God damn it. Let's let's try that again. Please retreat here. I want to kill you in Salamis. It would be so thematically perfect. Sink, hundred percent sink. Yes, we did it. We killed him off the coast of Salamis, where the Phrygians murdered our entire fleet like 20 years ago. Oh, how absolutely beautiful. I love that. Flavor. All right, now let us go and siege some more Phrygia because screw Phrygia. The Antigonids are evil people and we don't like them. If we siege the capital of the province, then if any peace deal happens to have this province pass on to somebody, uh, we'll take it. Though sometimes what you end up finding is when you siege a province, or a siege a city, the capital ends up moving. I don't know where the capital moved to, but it doesn't look like it's here anymore. No, it should be. Oh, no, it's here in Arandos, which is currently... Now it's in Trachea, which is owned by the Pisidaeans, unfortunately. Welp, never mind then. At least I have this. I think what I want to do is put my guys back over in Crete, ready for an invasion of Greece. That is probably going to be a good idea. Uh, I could always attack some of the vassals of Phrygia. See, Phrygia declared war, but they didn't call in Boeotia, which is a feudatory or a tributary. Just guaranteed. Close enough. So Boeotia is free to invade, and that's going to be the plan. Province of Hellas. Sure thing. So we're going to go and invade them, because that just seems like the neighborly thing to do. Uh, we'll also take some research points. Oh, we're also at war with Athens. Didn't even realize. That's cool. So let's land in Chalkis. Let's go and get the light infantry as well. Yeah, we are at war with Athens. I guess that's because feudatory. Yes. You're there. Let's get the light infantry. And move them up. Ready to invade Boeotia. Come on, buddy. Get your butt over there. Uh, Nikias the wolf, did nailed it, has died. And he was the governor of Nubia. So we need a new governor. And I guess, oh god, Hermiasianax Hiketasid, nailed it, is going to be the governor. Unless there is somebody scorn family. Are the Theranids disloyal? No. Yep, looks like you get the get the job. There you go. Good job. You're not the Helidids, are you? No. Alright, that's fine. And for some reason you've decided that this is the best cultural policy. That's that's not true. Uh, let's try and flip a bunch of places to cultural assimilation again. Because we need our culture to be homogenous. The best kind of culture. This is also Macedonian over here pretty much all of it, so it'd be really good to go and murder this. Cyrenaica is... How can we check what your primary culture is? I have no idea. But it looks like some of it is being flipped over to Cyrenaican via cultural conversion. So... Is it being flipped from Cyrenaican or to Cyrenaican? 
I don't know. Is there any way for me to check? Check in here. Can I click on your pops? No. Balls. I don't know. I have no idea. It'd be nice if I could check, but I, I really don't know of a way to. Your Greek traditions, that makes me think you want to switch over to Hellenic. Your ruler is Hellenic Macedonian, so maybe you are trying to flip everyone over to Hellenic. I don't know. Also, Macedon has invaded Thebes. That is... that is unfortunate. Because that's exactly what I was planning on doing. God damn you. Hmm. Well then. Who are you guaranteeing? Uboya and Paonia. I could... I could attack you, but I don't have a CB, which is unfortunate. Ah, hmm. Ooh, this is useful. Wrong culture having this plus 5%, considering, like, the entire world is wrong culture. Hell yes, I'll take that. In a heartbeat. Also, it seems I've been slacking, because I've got a lot of points. Wrong culture group happiness. I'll also take that. Hell yeah. Monthly loyalty would be really nice. Change policy cost. I could have used that a little while ago. Probably should have taken it. Military tradition cost. Yes, please. That means I am at 400 points, and I can get my first one. And of course, we're going to go with light cavalry discipline because, of course, I do love me some light cavalry. God damn it, Macadon. That's really annoying that you've done this. But I guess it does give me a reason to attack you. If you take the land, I then have a CB against Macadon. So I'm actually okay with it. It's fine. Conqueror's Legacy. The city of Alexandria is one of the many cities that was founded by Alexander himself during his famous campaign through Persia. It has grown significantly since its founding, and has kept Alexander's belief in having people from different faiths and cultures come together to form a new community. Through clashes, conflicts, and miscommunication, occasionally occur between Greeks, Persians, and others, they have learned to get along with one another. The city has started to build up an infrastructure and administration better built to serve their diverse populace to a greater degree than most of other cities. Lovely. But you gain civic power, and for 20 years gain less unrest and more manpower, or I could lose civic power and gain unrest and manpower in a bunch of provinces. Civic power is really good. Why would I take anything other than that? Oh, the war is over. And the fallout is a bunch of provinces up here have been spat out. Um, I assume everyone is now free. Yes. The Phrygia now doesn't really have claim uh, any subjects, apart from they still have Athens. Well, that means invading Phrygia next time is going to be so much easier. You can go sit down here, unless it's a desert, it is. Unfortunately, I didn't get any land at all, but... I mean, it's the AI. They, they very rarely give land away. Alright, let's pop our troops back in Crete. And we'll just let... Uh, Macadon take the land. I do want to revoke my guarantee on you though Because you are a bad boy, and I don't like you All right, put you in the there as well new invention Commerce income would be nice Siege engineers. Hell yeah. Siege engineers is basically when you're rolling your dice for your sieges uh, You basically get a plus one so it's really good to have that as high as possible. All right, I need a new commander for my awesome army. Massiva Neferid. Yes. Sounds like a plan. More commerce income sounds nice as well. We have to decide where we want to attack. Again, like I say, Macadon, we can't attack you for 10 years because we've just revoked our, true, uh, our guarantee. So until 76. If we attacked him before then, that's a negative 5 stability hit, and a lot of pigs need to be stabbed for me to be comfortable with that. Speaking of which, stab a pig. If you're uncomfortable, stab a pig. That's just the way it works. Alright, troops are in position for any future invasion. 
no longer importing wood from Rhodope to Philistia. Uh, I think that's up here. Yeah, that, that was our Adrissian thing. And uh, he's got a revolt, so unfortunately we need a new place to get wood from. Hmm. That's what I could do. If I attack you, you've got wood. No, you don't. I know there's wood around here. Is it North Phoenicia? Yeah, plus four wood here, so... Owning this land would be really, really good for us, but we've got a truce with you until... 79. Oh, that's even longer away. Hmm. Do we have a truce with any of these guys? No. We could go for Pisidea and take on all of this. If I attacked you, I'd be at war with... Literally just you. Alakanarsos. Hmm, interesting. Need wood, Lambert? Yes. Yes, I do. Wood is incredibly useful. I know a few guys. <laughs> oh, you... Right, new invention. Tries an output, slave output, commerce income. I'm gonna go with monthly loyalty. Loyalty's pretty good. Also, stab pig cost. But yeah, let's go with loyalty. What I find with um, monarchies especially is you could end up being in a cycle of pain where low loyalty means lots of pretenders. So oh god, it started. Uh, no, 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 no. My legitimacy is down. My heir is going to have even less legitimacy. Oh god, I need to fix this. I need to fix this right now. Sport my heir. Sport my heir. Hey, you, sport my heir. And you, sport my heir. And now we're out of points. Uh, we also need to become very tyrannical to fix the issue. You need to have uh, some games thrown so you're more popular. We basically need to get our legitimacy as high as possible, which would increase legitimacy for our next, um, my heir. Um, yeah, five tyranny, it sucks, but let's do it. Yeah, th this can get really nasty real quick. If I have a better Philosophos, I don't, unfortunately. If you're my son, why are you not my primary heir? Why are you my primary heir? You should be it. I don't understand why you're not. Sibling of... Oh, you're my... You're my brother? No, you're not. Sibling of ruler versus son of ruler. Oh, God. Is this a... Wait, we have the same father... Yeah, you're my, you're my brother. You're not my son. I, some for some reason, didn't have a mother, though. You're a son of the previous ruler, not, not the son of the ruler. I don't know. Here, marry your sister. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, this can get real out of hand. It's not good. So I could send Ptolemy to the Olympic Games. It's probably a good idea. Because he has the chance to die over there. Let's hope that happens. Let's hope he dies. A venomous Tongue. Um, province of Farfa loses 50 loyalty. Or it could lose 66 loyalty and we can imprison him. Considering it's 100, I think I'm okay with it being down. So Farfara. Farfara is uh, this one here and yes it went down to 50 but it's climbing very quickly so i'm not too worried about it let me check on cyrenaica three hellenic cyrenaicans in taucheria let's keep an eye on this let's check back in a few months if we remember i want to see if that's still the case you gotta remember as well because i am uh, Hellenic, I'm staying with Hellenic, and my religious unity is so poor. The more land I... Oh, hello. Oh, no! Okay, we'll come back to this. The more land I conquer in Greece and uh, in Italy, uh, the higher my religious unity will be, and the more um, powerful my omens will be. 
So it's always a good idea to invade up here. Um, it's not going to help... Actually, no. Macedon as well is all the correct culture. Macedonian, and so are we. So we want to definitely be up here. And now, the Olympics have concluded. The Great Olympic Games have come to an end with much rejoicing and celebration. The highlight of this year's games was during the Stadion, the most ancient and revered of foot races. Hermelos of Abria, in the last place for the majority of the race, stole victory by mere moments after Aristophon of Bithynia tripped and fell, causing all athletes behind him to join him on the floor. If you don't know, there's a great... Um, this is a reference to a ice skating championship thing at the Olympics, maybe the Winter Olympics, where... Um, Obviously there was a race, they're all going around in a ring on the ice, and then the guy in first place like slipped and took out everybody else, apart from one guy who was like, you know, half a lap behind or more, because he kind of sucked, and he went and he won, and it's just awesome. Yeah, reference to the Aussies, exactly. It's awesome. Anyway, overall the victor was declared to be Ptolemy Philadelphus Legid of Egypt. A first-time winner of the Olympics whose brawn, virility, and Heraclean vigor are beyond compare. He will go down in the annals of history as a champion of the Olympiad. So yes, we sent our brother off to die at the Olympics, hopefully. And he turned around and he bloody won. We do get some stability, which is great, and everyone loves us more, which is also great. But now he's more popular because... Because he won. Ugh. God damn it. I see you have military ideas available. Which one are you going to go down? At the moment, I'm going down the left side. Um, I'm not going to get it just yet because 720 is too expensive. We're going to wait until we have a little bit more technology and we're going to uh, get it for cheaper because that's just the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Also, we can get some more commerce income, I think, maybe... Real popularity gain would be pretty good as well. Yeah, let's go with that. Fuck. Yeah, that's the plan. How are you still not winning this war? You should have won it by now. Taking you an awfully long time. All right. This 2k, we can't do anything with it until this guy dies. Unless we attack somebody and we murder it. There's another revolt for Phrygia. Oh, it sucks to be you, good sir. Uh, Statue of Ptolemy. Yes. Until June 79th. For 10 years, we can get local unrest negative 2. Mm, I, I kind of want to say no. Omboy. I don't care about plus 2 unrest in Omboy, but I do care about popularity. So we'll say no. And we'll try and hold some more games as soon as we can. So yeah, Phrygia is in a lot of trouble. Uh, they're back at war, and they're going to lose a lot more land. They also have a bunch of tribesmen rampaging through their country, which is absolutely glorious. So, we are not supporting their rebels anymore. Fine by me. We do need more wood, so let's find someone to take wood from. South Phoenicia. We can get from Carthage. I think I'm going to go with Carthage. I'm unlikely to go to war with them for the near future. Right. Boeotia is going to die to Macedon, which is good. And yes, it is very good for Car uh, for Egypt that Phrygia is exploding. Seleucids also look like they're exploding to Armenia. Go Armenia, you absolute legends. They have the best flag in the game. I love this flag. So I'm glad to see them uh, win. Uh, what do we want to go with? Primary culture happiness? We don't have much of a primary culture. Let's go with commerce income. And also, we have a decision, I think. We should have a decision to build the Colossus of Rhodes. I don't see it, though. When we, we have Rhodes, we should have the Colossus thing. God, these are so expensive. Uh, it's not there, and that worries me. We should we should have it. Like, why, why do we not have the ability to build the Colossus? Very worrying. Welp. We'll have to worry about that in a bit. 
Monthly per, uh, legitimacy. Hell yes, I'll take that for sure. It's only for five years. That's one legitimacy. No, it's it's much more than one legitimacy. It's uh, monthly. So five times sixty times. It's a lot of legitimacy. It's great. Yay. We could attack the Phrygian Revolt, although lots of allies will wait on that one, I think. 